Hello people, this is how to make a piggy cutscene that has <clears throat> fading parts at any time you want it to. So, uh, if you want the cutscene kit, it's in the description. I re-uploaded it because the original one was uh, deleted, I think. So yeah, just uh, put everything where it has to go. Uh... Okay, you can delete that. So, like inside the uh, cutscene GUI, cutscene frameworks in the intro, uh, if you want to go where it says down here, where it says uh, this, if you want to copy where it says twin service create and then background transparency one play. Uh, so, it's so like you, you, you just want to copy this. And then uh, what you want to do is you you can just paste this anywhere. So I'm going to paste it here and make it play. And then I'm just going to go uh, wait. I do wait three. So let's see what that does. Oh, uh, it's doing that client thing again. Uh, well, let, me, let me just play it. Okay, uh, current client. Okay, so you can see that it just faded. The camera faded. So, uh, then once you do that, if you want to, you can, like, uh, then just... Uh, after the camera tween, you can then go another wait three, then paste that line, and then like that. And if you want to wait until the dialogue type writes again, let's just do another test. So the cutscene is playing, and as you can see, it, uh, it faded, and then you can see the Oh, you can see they're unfaded right there, so that's pretty clever, and if you want to, you could put like a wait thing there, like a tail, I'm, I'm just put a, a wait three for the cutscene bit, Um, this would be good if you like want to do some like an untold story thing, so uh, let, let me just uh, search up a piggy untold story. Uh, okay. Oh, that, that's just a sound. Let's see if I can find something else. Uh, okay. So, uh, hopefully this won't crash studio. Okay, it didn't crash studio. Let me just get rid of the materials real quick. Okay, nice. And, uh, I'm going to just duplicate this, and, uh, okay, so yeah, that one there, and for an example, yeah, I'm going to keep Willow there, like, well, actually, no, L let me just uh, delete Willow, okay, uh, 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 okay, delete all of those, okay, so I'll keep Willow in that one, but for this one, we'll do something different. I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> uh, okay. Uh, so, as if I'm doing like an example of the untold story. So, uh, let me just make them facing each other. Uh, okay, so it's like <clears throat> that. Uh, then I'm just gonna duplicate them and uh, then just put them down here. Oh, I didn't know Willow was still there. Oh, it's because I don't need Willow. Uh, yeah, I only need William, and then I'm, then I'm just gonna put. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll put Poli down here. Uh, just make sure that they're all anchored. Yeah, it make sure that's anchored. And I will uh, make sure that this is anchored as well. So now for, for the example of the untold story, you can go uh, avatar camera, make these uh, visible. So the front bit here is where it's going to face. So this, I'm going to take avatar cam one and I'm going to put it in here. Okay. All right. See, then for avatar cam two, I'm going to go all the way up here and uh, pop it in here. Okay. Move it that way. Then, so I'll, I'll just rotate it like that. So now if I go ahead and play, you can see that with the script, the, with the edit from the script, uh, like, uh, okay, ignore the dialogue there, ignore that. So you can see that because of that script edit that we made, it's, it's now going <clears> to <throat> unfade at a different point. So yeah, that, that's how... Uh, you make a cutscene that has custom fading points. Okay, so now we'll move on <clears throat> for um, if you want to make custom <clears throat> bits where the music stops and then plays a different song. So uh, I'm just going to add a sound in here and I'll call this uh, music 2 and then you just want to find a sound for it. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna find, uh, oh, I'll use this one. Nah, actually, I'll, I'll use this one. Okay, so I'll just copy the ID of that. Uh, then in the script, uh, where it says that, so, um, all we would do is, I'm gonna go... So then after this, I'm going to go, uh, me, uh, uh, cutscene frameworks for music to colon play. Uh, okay, and then, and then what does it say down here? Um, uh, Oh, I see. Actually, uh, script dot music to play, and then script dot music stop. So if I, let me just make sure that this isn't playing. Okay, yeah, that's good. So now, if I go ahead and play it now. So there you go, you can hear the music now. So yeah, that is how you make a piggy cutscene with uh, custom fade points and custom music areas. And if you did enjoy them, drop a like on the video please and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.